All right, so I'm here at the track in Los Llanos, ready to do an easy session, and I wanted to touch on something quick today, and that is the difference between pace, speed, running tempo, and intensity. Uh, because you got to realize, you know, when you're training, there are all these different systems of the body that, that you're working on, right? Uh, there's the heart, the cardiovascular system. That's one system to train. Another system that we're training is our musculoskeletal system. We're talking about muscles, tendons, bones. That's another system altogether. And then we have our nervous system. And there's also different smaller systems and subsystems. And we could go into a lot of detail on that. But basically today I just wanted to touch on the difference between your nervous system and cardiovascular system. We'll call that like intensity and then um, your uh, uh, musculoskeletal system, which relates more to pace. So here's the, here's the thing. Sometimes you head out for a run, your legs might be, uh, you know, sore or, or maybe a little injured even. Like, let's say you've been pushing it over the last few weeks and you've got a few aches and pains in your legs and you're, but you're heading out for, for a run and you want, that, you want that to be an easy run because your legs aren't able to handle hard training. Well, in this situation, because we're dealing with the musculoskeletal system, it doesn't matter really how hard you're working from a cardiovascular perspective. Uh, it matters how fast you're running from a pace perspective, right? Faster pace uh, is tougher for your musculoskeletal system. If you run fast, that's going to be much harder on your muscles and bones and ligaments and tendons. Much harder. Whereas another time though, you might be, you know, your legs might be totally fine. You're cool with going at a, at a higher pace, but your cardiovascular system or, or more importantly, your, your nervous system maybe is tired. Let's say you've been training a lot for a few weeks. Uh, you, you've, you're fatigued. Uh, you're systemically fatigued and you want to avoid going into that overtraining syndrome. You want to back off a little bit. You need to keep that intensity easy. And when we're saying intensity, it doesn't necessarily mean pace. It means how hard your nervous system is, is sort of taxed. It means how hard your heart is working. So for example, if you're running downhill, you can run pretty fast because in terms of your cardiovascular effort, it's pretty low, right? My heart rate always goes down when I'm heading down, right? So I can, I can maintain a faster pace. But my legs, though, they might not be able to handle that pace. So if you're looking to really tax your legs the most possible, but keep it, the effort and intensity really easy, go on a downhill run, you know? Uh, that's like super tough on your legs, easy on your heart and, and on your nervous system. Makes for a fairly easy effort overall, even though your legs are working hard. Likewise, if you want to keep that effort uh, a little bit higher, um, tax your cardiovascular system a little bit more while still maintaining a fairly easy pace for your legs, maybe a slight incline would be a, a good idea, right? Um, on a slight incline, you're working harder even though your pace is slower. So summing up, I guess uh, it's important just to keep in mind when you're heading out for a run, what's the purpose of the workout? What, what are you looking to train? Are you, are, you, are you heading out to train your legs to get fast? Because if you're working towards a specific time goal on a half marathon or a marathon, you need your legs to be able to handle that specific pace that specific turnover, that specific speed, and the recruitment of muscle fibers, etc., will uh, be different at different speeds. So if you're aiming for one speed, you gotta be able to handle that speed, and that means you need to train at that speed. So sometimes it's very important that you're hitting the pace. You need to hit that pace. Doesn't really matter how much you know, your intensity is at or how hard you're working, you need to hit that pace. Whereas other times you're working on something like your VO2 max, for example, or, uh, or, or, or you're just working on easy intensity aerobic efforts, well, the pace doesn't matter so much. You can run easy because you're not really training your legs and muscles so much at that point. You're training your, 
your cardiovascular system in, in something like a, a VO2 max workout. But of course, your legs are along the, with the ride, so they're gonna get a good workout as well. But keeping that in mind is a good idea. Sometimes I head out for a training session and I'm like, oh, I feel good, I'm ready to hit it hard, but my legs are tired, my legs are fatigued. They, they're still recovering from yesterday's workout maybe. Well then I know I gotta keep it easy, but not in terms of heart rate. I don't worry too much about heart rate in this situation. I'm worrying about pace. I, I don't wanna get my pace too fast because that's gonna tax my legs too much. I keep, gotta keep that pace easy. As I said, just summing up again, other times though, I might head out for a workout and my legs feel amazing, like I'm ready to hit it hard but I know that I'm fatigued from a systemic uh, nervous system point of view. And in this situation, I gotta back off and take it easy in terms of my effort and my intensity. And measured in my, on my watch, I use the percentage of maximum heart rate as a, as a sort of gauge for that. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Put your comments down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, are you conscious of this when you're training? Uh, any questions, feel free to post them as well. Make sure you subscribe, of course. Stay up to date with all the videos coming out of this channel. We'll do more training talks, physiology talks. We'll do vlogs and equipment reviews and all that stuff. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day. I'll see you around.